โอเคมีคนพร้อมแล้วใช่ไหมครับเรามาเริ่มทำ two minute speaking กันดีกว่านะครับ everyone นะครับรีบรีบพูดไปนะเราจะได้ไปกินข้าวไวๆเลิกไวๆดีไหมครับหรือว่าจะเรียนถึงเที่ยงคงไม่สมควรนะครับโอเคเห็นมีคนพิมพ์เข้ามาแล้วสองคนแรกหรือเปล่าแป๊บหนึ่งนะครับขอทอนมิ่งก่อนสองนาทีท็อปิกนี้เดี๋ยวจะเป็นข้อสอบฝ่ายนอกด้วยนะครับหน้าที่ของยูยูทั้งหลายก็คือว่าก็ต้องเลือกขอนนะครับข้อละสองนาทีนะท่านเลือกท็อปิกนี้นะท่านเลือกท็อปิกนี้โอเคโอเคขอเริ่มที่ Petra p a r four five five are you there yes I'm here okay so which which question um which number do you choose here uh, the first one the first one right Advantages and disadvantages. Okay, are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. So there are so many advantage way to take a photo. Like um, the photograph to they they're taking a photo because they can freeze a beautiful moment and capture it, and you can um take the time to enjoy them. Moments happen all the time, and they can happen um fast. So a picture is worth an a thousand words. Like photography can convey the ideas in a very artistic, visual, and creative way, and powerful. And sometimes, the photograph can inspire others as well. This is the advantage way. And what about this at this advantage? Like today, the scenarios had changed from the old times, because, like um, dress drastically now people go anywhere, and like start taking a pictures, went to bathroom take a selfie, went to attend a marriage take a selfies, and there's many such example. So nowadays, it has become a trend to take a picture and like show to friends that you went to a place, or just because you just want to show off what you have and make some interesting. And if you always take a picture for that reason, sometimes you will just miss the story in real life. So. Why should you hacking out with your friends? Please stop taking a picture for a moment and enjoy the moment. Are you living? I think that is should be the disadvantage thing. Thank you. All right, good. Thank you so much. That m e a n h a v e t i m i n g ไปพอดีนะฮะดีมากมากเลยนะเป็นคนรายที่พูดได้ไปมากเลยครับคือ timing สองนาทีอ่ะมันท้าทายนิดหนึ่งนะครับแต่ว่าคือบางคนอาจจะต้องซ้อมไปก่อนเพื่อดูว่าสองนาทีเราจะต้องพูดประมาณไหนนะครับ Thank you so much นะครับ Okay good Alright เดี๋ยวขอขอมาก่อนนะครับว่าดันไปแล้ว Question number one คนที่สองวรารี four six one Are you there Yes I'm here Okay which one do you choose Question number three Number three, good photographer, right? Okay, so yeah. are you ready for two minutes speaking? Uh, I think so. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, two, three, go. Okay, we talk about the necessity of t a l p a s s to be a good photographer. So, if you really want to be a good photographer, t a l p a s s is the good way that you want to do because. Good photographer must have attention to the det to detail, creative or interpersonal it is skills such as organization, creativity, and IT skill are another 
uh, technology skill and you have to learn when you take a course, course will improve your skill. Uh, if you have something wrong, for example, you mistake in this point or uh, you have to put your camera in the wrong side and we, uh, they have line in photo and you must scope them in the line and the course will take you to be the better way. Uh, but the very necessary to do is patient and hard practice and maybe getting it wrong because when you pass this uh, something like in this skill, you have to practice hard. Uh, it's really like when you take a photo, if you don't text it much, some photograph, some photographer takes many of million pictures, but uh, if you want to, and if you want to be uh, a good and professional, you might take very much of pictures and have to question and don't uh, stop. Uh, if you take part, uh, but not text it, your skill will not improve too much and uh, it might improve a little bit, but it's not too much yet. And this is very important is practice. Yeah. Wow, two tips, the same thing. So that we are okay with two tips, right? It's not a problem. Okay, thank you, Rally. Thank you so much. Okay, question number three, right? Next one, Nisha. Please ask your question. Okay, question number three. Yes. Okay, which one do you choose? Uh, question three. Question number three, right? Good photographer. Okay, yes. are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. Is it necessary to take a course to become a good photographer? I think it's unnecessary to take a course because nowadays, we have technology, social media to learn anything for free. Like you would join a photographer group in some social media. Many of photographers that have a good trick of photograph share that trick in the group and you can also use that trick. And you can improve your, this is, my opinion that you can improve your own photograph by practicing shooting in different locations, different times, they will have different light. This will let you know where to adjust when encountering this kind of light to get the best picture of you. And I think that being a good photographer depends on the individual because some photo photographer who has um, many considered him to be a good photographer see themselves as poorly photographed yet because the industry of photography is constantly changing like fashion one day has this trick another day has another trick and there is no end about the photograph thank you thank you so much I you have like my easy break. Okay, thank you so much. Um, great. <laughs> Next one. But not the six o four. Is that right? Are you there? Hello from the outside. Are you there? You married? No, no, check sure. <laughs> All right, so it means that Sarin to wake up. So yes. are you there for six six? Okay, so which one do you choose? Uh question number one. Okay, are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, go. Uh, for talking about the advantage of 
uh, taking photograph, there's no better way to reserve or our new memories and spatial moments of our life than taking photograph. First, taking photograph can stress relevant by helping us focus on the beautiful things around us, such as a beautiful view like a beautiful mountain or a beautiful sea. Uh, second is photograph can help to keep pictures of memories both in the past and in the future and being able to revisit all photograph bring choice to remembering those impressive moments in the past. Third is you can see the world from a new perspective. Uh, when while, while we are taking pictures, we are we have to look at the world through a square frame. If you intend to look for a beautiful detail around you, your perspective on things will change from a normal perspective became seen through the perspective of the camera. For the disadvantage, in my opinion, is a photography equipment like a camera, like lens or various accessories is so expensive. And when you take a photograph, you might miss the moment around you in real life. Thank you. Okay. Hello, like Super Rick Dyer. Thank you so much. Ah, me cry, it me crap. Tony Pan, but let's see, con to where. Okay, prom. Put lay, they have prom like a report lay today. Break, they have content. Tom go. Some at all, which is soon done learn, they cap. Okay, next to that, two and one, are you there? Yes. Which one do you choose? Uh, question number one. All right, are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. Uh, what are the advantage and disadvantage of taking photograph? I think the advantage of taking photograph is about to keep the some situation like a special day to be a memory that we can keep it in a thing like film or photo on the internet. We can touch it and remember what happened on that day. And uh, I think another of the, the advantage is we can keep a beautiful thing that we not often to see, such as Aurora right when we traveling in Finland. And the disadvantage of taking photograph, uh, I think it's about some image in some situation. It's not good to keep or preserve it because it can be a thing to trigger someone such as image of a spider uh, like some people see it beautiful when they when they uh chap yaya teacher i don't know in english chap yaya uh, temptation see it. right okay persuade temptation someone, right mm -hmm. uh someone see it like beautiful animal but it also can tickle someone that's scared of it thank you mm -hmm. Like you sip her week and I you in a hair. All right, thank you so much. Happening that cap giant yen there to con a rip rip put by Saturday kin cow kin plan. Tony me call my land. I captured that gun four, three, six. Are you there? Yes. Okay, so which one do you choose? Question number three. Number three. Question number three. Number two, yes. Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes, yes. One, two, three, go. In my opinion, I think that being a good photographer depends on how much each person wants to spend time 
taking future to be a good photographer. Some people may not to be rushed with it to be uh, become a professional photographer. You may start taking photo at really young age and keep shooting, keep uh keep finding a knowledge from working or asking friend or senior photographer about how to take a beautiful picture or how to adjust camera or uh, and ready take picture and keep them as experience until become a professional without having to go into into the crowd or some people may want to take a beautiful picture or have something to guarantee that when they do they will definitely to able to be a great photographer or can make money from from uh, this for, for photograph or um, and editing uh, to uh, photography has we are here to learn about some thing the shadow the lining or the edges camera in order to make it look perfect for taking a, a photo class depend on how individual one the picture to uh, look uh, to be realistic or want to be a right instructor. More issue is making a uh, uh, photograph class. It's not guaranteed that you'll be able to be good photographer. It depends on uh, the photo, the result that uh, you like it, the employee like it. Thank you. Okay, good. Wait, let's remain at the next card you're gone. Uh, I just don't <laughs> care for All right, Neha, thank you so much. Next one. Tap Neng, Neha. To constant bar, Neha. Neha, Neha, Great, the year one one eight two. Are you there? Yeah. All right. Um, which one do you choose? I choose question two. Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yeah. One two. Sing me kai chat One two three go. In my opinion. The advantages of digital photography is that there are several advantages of digital photography because they are appropriate to everyone from amateur photographer to professional photographer because three reasons. One, team and team processing. I think I don't have to spend my time and energy in developing the role of team in the classroom or go to the shop. Using a digital camera means I can take pictures without paying for film or wondering which type of film to buy. In fact, I think I never have to buy film again. Two, large photos store digital cameras can easily store up to 10,000 photos depending on the size of the memory card and the quality of the picture that I am taking. Three, motion detection. This day high-end digital cameras also come equipped with in-built motion detection feature with a just moving image, a warning bird image. This become particularly helpful when I'm taking pictures of moving objects such as cars as running. So, for night mode, taking pictures in the dark or dimly surrounding has become much easier thanks to special night mode features on my cell phone that are usually available in the digital camera. So it can take a picture easier.
ต้องพูดต่อไหมคะคือจะไม่ไมผิดอ่าสองนาทีแล้วไม่ต้องก็ได้ครับ alright ไม่เป็นไรเดี๋ยวเราไปทำมิ่งว่าสองนาทียังไงบ้างโอเค good นะครับตอนนี้หมดเวลาละ thank you so much good thank you good deal โอเคอ่า next one yo sita one seven eight are you there yes okay which one do you choose number one Question number one. Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. Photography is not just about licensing the camera to take pictures, but photography can still have many benefits that we might overlook. For example, one forever memories that photograph keep memories both past and future. Every time you pick up a picture, it will bring back the happy old days. The more technology comes in, memories of the past become even more clear. Two, create and carry opportunity. If we have a talent of photography, can be used to create a career, earn money to support yourself and your family as well. Three, emotional, a photograph. Is like writing a book. We can convey emotion into photograph, photograph in different ways. Emotional books by letters, and emotional photo by color. Mm-hmm. Everything has both advantage and disadvantage. It is always take a coin that has two sides. The disadvantages of taking a picture are. The pressure when taking a photo for a friend, and then the friend say that a photo is not beautiful, can cause a fight. Or, cost of equipment is item is often priced very high. But if what we do can make us happier, that is negative consequence. This is why that we can do continue to do it. Yes, thank you. All right, there are s i b r i t h a t you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next one, p i t c h a m o n one two five. Are you there? Yes. Okay. So, which one do you choose? Lesson number two. Number two, are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yeah. One, two, three, go. In my opinion, there are several pros of digital photography. The first one is it has a large photo storage. Depending on the size of memory card and the quality of the picture that you are taking. The second one is it's easy to use. You don't have to spend your time to prepare the film, to set the camera and stuff. That might take a long time. And the third one is easy image editing because it's digital photography, so you can edit the photo in the way that you like before you upload it. In upload it on social media, but digital photography. Also has many cons too. The first one is it has a memory card problem because all of the photograph and video as everything that you take is stored in the memory card. So if it has a problem, it can cause many like many problem after that and can develop to the other issues too. The second one is the battery consumption. Battery consumption defeats more quickly in digital camera, and that makes you like have to keep a few extra batteries in your hand to change it when the battery when the battery is running out. And the last one is the cost. Digital cameras can tend to be a little bit more pricey compared to film camera because of the like equipment, the maintenance cost. That can be quite expensive. 
Thank you. All right. Sam, we are got timing day day. Two minutes to pay for day, okay, Pom. Thank you so much. Ah, put set. Pop. เอาจากซูมได้เลยนะครับใบตองเดี๋ยวนะใครต่อเริ่มตาลาละโอเคเพิ่มชนด์1 5 3 are you there yes okay which one do you choose I choose uh, question number three number three right are you ready for two minutes speaking yes Okay, one, two, three, go. Is it necessary to take a course to become a good photographer? I would say yes, it is necessary to take a course to become a good photographer. Nowadays, people can easily access camera stock such as smartphone camera, film camera, Polaroid camera, or digital camera. With these opportunities, Everyone can take a nice shot and share it on their social media, but it doesn't mean they are a good photographer or professional photographer. They are more than just press a shutter button, but there are some basic competition that every good photographer has to know. Even if you are not concerned about the technique and style, The composition is still be everything in photography, such as a shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. A good photographer has to be creative and imaginative to telling their story by their photos. Moreover, the digital camera has many equipment that most people don't know how to use it. Taking a photographic course will make you understand your camera and use it professional, and also give you techniques and styles. Since you get to learn all of them, you can become more skilled, and it also helps you find your personal style, which can make you stand out from other photographers. Thank you. All right. So like for man, you sit with acceptable. Thank you, Kapom. Thank you so much. a h come on, then, eh? Cap, ready? p r o m e t n e Next one. n e t n e r y two o four. Are you there? Two. Yes. What? u h which one do you choose? I should p i c k n one. Question number one. Yes. Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. I think the advantage of taking photograph is that can hold memory of that moment. Over time, you can always revisit the photograph or video you have taken. Photograph don't disappear like memory. Memory can disappear because the brain cannot remember everything, but memory card can store and remember everything. And in learning time, photographs are very, very important because I am not able to write the lesson in time. I can take picture and keep them for the part. And when traveling in order to lead a t t e c t i o n Everyone want to get a beautiful picture to keep as memory, or want to make a postcard as a gift for someone you love. So taking photograph is the best for keep memory and share memory for someone you love. Taking photo photograph don't had the advantage only, but it had the disadvantage. In my opinion, the disadvantage of taking photograph. Is that it can break other people without our attention? At now, photography is much easier than before. Making some people in the photo reluctant to take that photo with us, and sometimes situation and sometimes and some situation 
unsuitable for take photograph can be the disadvantage of photograph. Example, porn image from the psychopath. I think something like that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's break down your help. Time me that can do next help. All right, good. So soon see. Okay, next one. Patricia, you have four, five, two. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. All right. So, which one do you choose? Uh, question number one. Number one, right? Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. Okay. Talking about the advantages of taking photographs. First of all, I think photos can remind us of the people or places that you have been there or the activities that we love or we used to do it. And photos can help us remember the past. Uh, one of the best ways to make yourself happy in the present is sometimes you have to recall your happy times from the past uh -huh, and it will help you a lot. And last photo can sometimes replace the thing itself. For example, uh, if your beloved person um, passed away or your beloved pet died, if you have photo about them already it will be easy to recall the memories about them but if you're not it sometimes it's hard so i suggest you to take a photo of them when they're also alive and the only disadvantage of taking photographs that i can think of is um when you're taking a photo you will be focused on doing that um it seems to be good but sometimes it's not good you will be missing some important thing that happens around you or you will and, and, and it's not bad it's not good yes so i suggest that um you just enjoy your time at the moment you just enjoy your time with your friends your surrounding your environment your food more than taking a photo and it will be good for you thank you thank you so much Okay, there you have. <laughs> Thank you so much. Next one. Um, let's see how so. And pass a gun if you check to the work you have. Let's check you now. Is that right? Check you. Okay. Um, chat mong con. Five, four, yes. five. Okay, are you there? Right. Okay. Which one do you choose? Question number two. Question number two, right? Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. In my opinion, I think there are, are several plus of digital photography. First, night mode. I think taking pictures in the it's really important because it has become much easier it's a special night mode features in mobile phones that are usually available in today's digital cameras second easy image editing i think it is really easy to create it about image that you want. Digital image can be edited with as um, it is easily and available and they allow you to tweak the photo curve as per your preference. And the last one, I think it is large photo storage because digital camera can store up to 10,000 photos depending on the size of memory card and the quality of picture is really high definition. This completely 
outweigh the storage capacity, I think. And the other hand, I think corn is more reasons. The first one, photo file management is difficulties because the storage space makes it practical to take hundreds. For example, download on two different computers, tablets, or portable hard drive, kept on multiple phones, memory cards. This makes them difficult to find and easy to lose. Okay. I think that's that. Right. Okay. Now you have. Okay. Good for two minutes speaking. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chat Mong Khun. Next one. Next one would be Gamon Chaya 543. Are you there? Yes. Okay. So which one do you choose? Number two. Question number two. Question number two. Are you ready for two minutes speaking? Yes. One, two, three, go. In my opinion, the pros of digital photography are easy to take photo because it have a lot of feature or principle setting that make people who don't know about how to take photo can do this easy, easily, like press just one button. And it's easy to sharing. If you are easy going, you can take some picture and post, post at this moment. But most, most people usually take many of picture for choose the best picture and editing pictures or put some filter when you like it then you will post it and sometimes when you're going on a trip you you want you just want a, some nice picture to show off on social media the cons of digital photography i think sometimes technology is not safe because it's too fast your picture can be spread really easily to other people and it's so dangerous if that picture you did not intend to share or in worst case is busy hack your is is being hacked your mobile phone. So we need to learn how to use both 